the goal of the regime, I'll call it, is to separate the families, create arguments between so-called political parties, strip society of God, and when something bad happens, when they manufacture something bad, then the top percent or the regime, they become the saviors. Good morning pretty much future self hob and YouTube if I upload this. I had a crazy dream last night that me and my family, me, Naomi and Rachel, were in Philadelphia or a city. I'm not really sure what city. It seemed like Philadelphia to me. And uh, we came out of a store on a corner. I'm not sure the store's name for some reason. And there was like maybe a natural disaster, maybe a bomb went off. Something happened. And uh, all of a sudden, I was surrounded by what seemed to be FEMA or some sort of like regime. Uh, they all had us get in a line first. And then all of a sudden Naomi was gone and they separated the children from the parents. So I was like freaking out, like looking at Rachel in the dream going, all the crazy stuff I've told you, all the things I've been claiming, all the crazy stuff. Now do you believe me? She was like, oh my gosh. So then fast forward into the dream, we're like in this line. Just, just pretty much in this line, like waiting for nothing. Naomi's not there. We can't see her anymore in the dream. Her, the children keep getting like more further and further away from the parents. Then we go into this building where there's like all these chairs and all these beds and they're giving people vaccine, like these needles. They're giving them and then they're giving them to the people to give to themselves because obviously they are making it so scary but most of the people are just shooting the thing in their arm as soon as possible. People's lips are going numb. People are getting taken to like a different bay in the thing. So I think I beat the system because I, I come up to the counter where you're supposed to check in with your, the vaccine that they were giving us. And like I slipped it into the trash can where everybody was throwing their empty vials. And I was like, all right, I beat the system. I just have to find Naomi. So like they lead us out of a building and I'm looking over like this balcony and there's this parade of cars going and all the kids are in the cars for some reason like they're taking the kids and I was looking at everybody going dude they're harvesting their organs they're, they're they're doing experiments on the kids all this weird stuff so then somebody comes up to me like all these civilians and they're like traitor looking at me traitor traitor telling me I'm a traitor and I was like do you guys truly believe that they're doing what's the best for us and all the people are like yes yes all the people that took the vaccine it's like it flipped their brains in the dream so then fast forward a little bit in the dream, I'm in this like padded room, they have me locked up and then this lady comes in smiling and like, you're the one. And like, uh, hits me with this vaccine and for some reason they put it in, in your like forearm and they like juice it in and it was like a really cold feeling shot. My lips were going numb, all this stuff. So they're like, oh, you need to go to the emergency bay. You're having a problem. I was thinking, I feel kind of fine. My lips are just numb. They put me in this bed they put me to sleep with some maybe anesthesia who knows what they put me to sleep with and uh i wake up and my phone has like pictures and videos of like naomi and, and, and rachel like down by the water like watching fireworks because the celebration for like whatever they were beating me and i was like this didn't happen this didn't happen yet in my life. Like, I woke up too soon. They don't know me. So then fast forward, I'm, like, in a crowd of all these people. And I go and I keep seeing Naomi and Rachel, like, looking over the water. It's almost like I'm a drone in the dream looking down on them. And uh, they're different. And I keep looking at my pictures. And, and the pictures are different. And it's like, in, in the dream, I lost them of whatever they got into us but for some reason like whether it was my faith in the dream faith in god in the, in the dream or like i kept telling myself in the dream like i'm not gonna let this affect me this shot like when they hit me with it i was just still trying to hold on to who i was in the dream i wasn't allowing the vaccine to change me but like when i saw my family and i saw the other people that i knew at the end of the dream their eyes were different they were like glazed over and they were all celebrating with all the other people dude it was heavy because whatever they were all celebrating with 
all the people and they were having like a fake fireworks show like the regime or the government or whatever was going on just another distraction so it's like probably means nothing but I just decided to film it right now so I don't remember any details and like twice I woke up from the dream took a pee even went on my phone and was going I can't go back into that dream dude I can't go back into that dream and every time I went back to sleep I ended up right back in the dream that was like the fast forwarding scenes every time I woke up I'd end up like at a different point in the dream crazy I won't be going into any cities lately let's just say that from the dream I won't be letting anybody jab me with anything by my choice and uh wow all I gotta say is this EZX is coming they're trying to make a world economic forum not just for the United States where they like create this crazy thing for us like to uh control like how they control everybody when there's a new pandemic they're already pushing disease x and supposedly making vaccines for it so maybe that has to do with the dream maybe i look into this stuff too much but like wow we're at a turning point dude in this in, in our society not just our country in all of our society we're at a turning point we're like they have the mass majority of people fully brainwashed and uh, it's probably nicer to be inside the box with all the brainwashed people, to be honest. Because uh, living as an outlier still in 2024 is, is a full-time job, and it really messes with your head. Like, maybe I should just head to the doctor now and let them hit me with all the stuff they've hit everybody else with so I can just be part of the system. Breaking out of the matrix is heavy. But my goal 2024... I guess this video just turned into something crazy if I upload it really crazy. My goal for 2024 is to get closer to Jesus, closer to God, closer to my faith, and fully break the matrix. Because the goal of the regime, I'll call it, is to separate the families, create arguments between so-called political parties, strip society of God, and when something bad happens, when they manufacture something bad, then the top percent or the regime, they become the saviors of humanity. No longer Jesus, no longer your family, no longer your father, no longer your friends, because they've stripped all that away from you with your phones, with your social media, with the news they project into your head, with whatever the heavy metals they're injecting into you in the vaccines. time to wake up people it's time to stop partaking in their games the hunger games think about that if we just stopped one by one partaking in the elections that are fake anyway if we stop partaking in their mandates they couldn't do anything but since everybody just as soon as something said oh we got to do that what's the system say what's the law they have us by the kahunas boys wake up boys girls People of planet Earth, people of YouTube, people of the boob tube. I know this video is going to get me shadow banned if I upload it. I know my constant talking about Jesus is going to lose followers. But I'm here to spread the word, dude. I'm here to sound like a kook. I'm here to sound like a conspiracy theorist. I don't care. I'm here to free as many people as I can from the Matrix. Neo, out.